Now, the federal government and organized labor have agreed to meet in eight weeks to finalize discussions on the recently implemented removal of petroleum subsidy. At the last meeting between both parties held on June the 5th, uh, some agreements were reached, causing labor to suspend its planned strike until further talks. Among agreements reached was the establishment of a joint committee to review the proposal for wage increase or reward and establish a framework and timeline for implementation. The federal government, the TUC and the NLC were also to review the World Bank Finance Cash Transfer Scheme and propose inclusion of low-income earners in the program, as well as revive the compressed natural gas conversion program earlier agreed with labor centers in 2021. As we promised the last time, uh, when we adjourned, when Labour called off the strike and tabled their demands, we went through all those demands and uh, ourselves, that is government and Labour, went through all the items on their list and uh, we all said we were going to go back to our principals and make consultations. They also said they were going to go to the executives and members and make consultations so that we should reconvene and move forward. And that's what, exactly what we did. We reconvened and then both parties went through this list and we ticked off the viable ones. Those things are broken into three different categories. The immediate, those that can be of uh, low-hanging fruit in the immediate C, then in the short run, the uh, medium term and the long term. So those list of demands in terms of implementation and execution fall into those three broad categories of short, medium, and long-term, you know, uh, categories. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.